So now that we discussed thermal electrocyclic reactions, let's take a look at the following example that deals with one. So determine what isomers of butadiene are formed when trans 3,4 cyclobutene is transformed via a thermal electrocyclic reaction into 1,3 butadiene. So what are the isomers? So let's begin with our trans 3,4 cyclobutene, the starting material. So basically it looks something like this. We have a four-membered ring as shown. We have our pi bond, let's say between carbon 1 and carbon 2. So this is carbon 1, carbon 2, and on carbon 3 and carbon 4, we have some type of group, let's call it an R group, that points in opposite directions. So let's say that on the third carbon, we have the R group pointing up, and the H group is pointing down. But on this, the R group is pointing down and the H group is pointing up. So this is uh, trans 3,4 cyclobutene where the uh, ene basically means there's a pi bond between carbon 1 and carbon 2. Now, when we discussed thermal, uh, thermal electrocyclic reactions, we said that when this reaction takes place, we basically add heat. This is our energy source. We either have one type of conrotation or the other conrotation. So in one conrotation, these two bonds base or these two groups basically rotate in the same direction, let's say going into the board, or they rotate in the same direction going out of the board. We said that thermal electrocyclic reactions do not undergo the disrotation. So let's begin with our rotation going into the board. Let's suppose we have a con rotation in which this goes this way and this group also goes this way into the board. So basically when this happens, this bond is formed and two, and two pi bonds are formed. So we obtain the following molecule. So we basically form our two bonds here. This one will now point this way. The R group will point this way. And in this case, the R group will point this way. H group will go into the board. So the R group will be as so. So the H is here and our H is here. So when this breaks off and rotates this way, the H points inward. And when this goes this way, the H also points inward. So this is our trans, trans molecule. So we have a trans, trans 1,3-buta, Dying. And the reason it's, it's a trans is because here the H group points this way, here the H group points this way. So on this bond, the H's point opposite. On this bond, the H's also point opposite. So we have a trans, trans, 1, 3, butadiene. Now, what about if our two bonds, if this bond breaks off and the rotation takes place going this way. So let's see what type of isomer is formed in this case. So let's redraw our initial starting material, the trans 3,4 cyclobutene. So we have the R group that points up, the H points down, here the H points up, the R points down. This is the trans 3,4 cyclobutene. So now we have the other type of con rotation taking place. So our bonds basically rotate in the opposite direction. These groups, the orbitals rotate in the opposite direction. So now our thermal electrocyclic reaction takes place and now we form the following molecule. So this H goes out, so the H points here, the R points here, this R points or goes in, so we form this molecule here. So now we have our two H's point in the same direction, the two H's point in the same direction, so we have cis, cis, one, three, butadiene that is formed.
So this is one type of con rotation, and let's say in this con rotation, they both point clockwise, so going this way is clockwise, but in this con rotation, they rotate in the same direction but opposite with respect to this one, so counterclockwise, and so we form the cis cis in this case, and the trans trans in this case. Remember, we cannot have a disrotation in thermal electrocyclic reactions. If a disrotation took place, then we would form the cis trans and the trans cis. But but because only the con rotation takes place, we could only form the trans trans or our cis cis.